there's definitely a big difference in in do's and don'ts in Madagascar than here. There's there's things that they do there that aren't offensive that would be offensive here and vice versa. Uh, one of the biggest examples that I can think of is uh, um, kind of they're a little bit more blunt down there with anything, especially like physical features, you know, which here, you know, sometimes we tend to tiptoe around, like, um, trying to think of a, an example. Well, one example is if you're, if you're overweight, if you're, if you're big down there, they'll let you know, wow, you're big. And here, if you, if you say that, that's kind of rude, but down there, it's, it's more of a compliment. It's like, wow, you, you can say, Mananaina, you Mananaina, you, you have life. Wow, you have a lot of, you have life. It's like you're not Tavi Bay. You, you're fat. So, um, it's it's funny because yeah, here it's like what, like, wow, um, and uh, you know, y you get there. Wow, you're really you're really white. It's like yes, yes, thank you, I am, thank you, and. Uh, and to them, like, it's not, it's not rude. It's not being rude in their culture. It's just, hey, cool, you know? Um, so, so that's something that you have to kind of get used to when you get there. And you just, you just have to kind of get it in your mind, like, oh, they're, they're not being rude. They're being friendly. They're, they're being talkative. It's something that they like to talk about. Um, so if you just kind of be open with it and just kind of, laugh and if, if they say something that offends you you just kind of laugh it off shrug it off It'll be like yeah <laughs> and then and they're they're really friendly and they're really easy to talk to and you you can talk to them about pretty much anything and they just they just don't get offended um with with stuff like that with physical stuff like that because they're just like that's that's how it is it is how it is um, but with that, there, there are some things, uh, there are some things down there that, that, you know, are, are not acceptable there that are here. If I can try and think of some, um, they, they really respect, respect people's property and, um, like, like, for example, um, missionaries, you know, we, we have our backpacks and, uh, we'll set our backpacks down on the floor in front of us as we sit down. A Malagasy person will never step over your backpack because that's your personal property and that's, they're, they're respecting that. So they'll, they'll ask you to move your backpack when up here, you know, you'll just step over it and not think about it. But there they're like, Hey, can you move your backpack? And you're like, and then they, and then they walk through. So just something like that, that's just, you don't really think about, but to them, it's, it's, it's a big deal. Yeah. One thing that's really cool. They, they really respect, um, like people and, uh, they, they rarely get in fights with other people. They rarely hurt other people. They're, they're, they're really peaceful really non-violent and it's it's because it's it's really um really bad to to hurt someone i mean that kind of goes for any culture but i just i thought it was amazing that down there you know i never really saw any any fights never really saw a whole lot of violence and you don't really hear about it a lot i mean obviously there's exceptions but they they don't really, you know, there's, it's, it's peaceful. No, I've never heard of a missionary getting mugged, uh, my whole mission and, and the missionaries before me. Um, and so far to this day, I've never heard of a missionary getting mugged. Um, pickpockets, a different story, you know, that can happen anywhere. Uh, so you gotta be careful when you're in crowded places you know, watch your pockets, watch your backpack. But as for walking around at night, you and your companion, 
it's you just the chances of someone attacking you have slim to none so that's that's really nice um, and that just goes down to the respect thing they just they respect you and they respect who you are they they really respect missionaries and they're they're um, they understand that you serve Jesus and they respect that um, for the most part they they think it's awesome that you're down there teaching people and, and helping people and they they think it's incredibly awesome that that someone so far away has come to this country to their country learned their language and studied them and tried to understand them they they think it's incredible they're like this is awesome uh, I I recently went back um, to Madagascar a year ago and just talking to people they're like you haven't forgotten the language they're like um, which means like thanks for remembering um, they just I feel like they're kind of in a in a far away place and it's hard to get to and I think they they feel like sometimes they get forgotten they're just you know no one ever learns Malagasy you know but then there's there's this group that comes and they just learn to love the people and they learn to love the language and they they just absorb the culture and the Malagasy's are just like this is awesome like you know it's we have friends anyways that's kind of a tangent